Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mushroom Marine, guys. Another video, guys. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanted to ride the pit bike out and actually practice wheelies, but the weather for the whole weekend, because you guys know I do work on weekdays, Monday through Friday. So during the weekend, I try to grind out some videos, try to pump content for you guys, but the weather has been horrible. Look at this weather. It's been raining the entire weekend. And one reason that the rain sucks, um, it doesn't look too bad on camera, because, like, I mean, it just... It's not raining now, it's just the ground is wet. Is it creates mud. So basically, I think yesterday I went to go record trying to do wheelies and stuff like that, uh, but it was very, very muddy. It was extremely muddy. I'll put up pictures right now of what my bike ended up looking like. Just going to the trail and then coming back. Uh, we rode at the trail for maybe like five, ten minutes, then we left. But the cops did stop us and they were like, yo, you can't ride these on the streets. If we see, like, they were pretty mad. They were, they were kind of cool, but kind of mad. The cop was like, I ride dirt bikes. I know what you guys are like I know I understand you guys but you can't ride it on the streets if you ride it on the streets we're gonna go ahead and give you a ticket we're gonna have to take your bikes or something like that so basically we got our first warning riding the bikes on the streets which sucks and the reason it sucks is because now we can't go riding like we can't just go out and ride to the next neighborhood or go ride like now we have to actually avoid the cops which is something I did not want to do um, so we're basically we found this back trail that's literally like right down the street uh, you probably can't see but like I think we're on the main road not the main road but one of the roads uh, for maybe like 10 seconds 15 seconds and then we go into another neighborhood and then we found a trail that leads to the actual place that we like going to uh, it's back in the cut the cops can still stop us but we have an excuse and that's that we didn't know that's basically all you have to say when you're new to it and you have only get caught your first second time and it's a new cop you just say sorry man we didn't know and sometimes I'll let you go with a warning sometimes I'll get you it depends if they talk to each other and let each other know that hey there's dirt bike people out here riding around here and they warn each other about you. So you, you got to be careful. Um, if you have never gotten caught riding, I suggest don't get caught just because you want that first warning to last you as long as you possibly can. But in today's video, as you guys saw from the title and thumbnail, the bikes. We're going to compare the two bikes, the Apollo 250 RX which is a 250cc dirt bike versus the Apollo 125cc pit bike. Now this isn't a dirt bike, it's a pit bike. Um, this one is mine, the green one is my friend. We got them exactly at the same time. And I know you guys are probably curious about the blue tires, honestly. I'll explain that here in a second. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about the difference between the two bikes. Because a lot of people are curious. They don't know if they should buy this one or they should buy this one. You know what? We're going to actually move this one over here so that way it's not next to the trash cans and it looks a little bit more pleasing to the eye. All right, guys. Now that we got the bike moved over and they're next to each other side by side, we can actually do a good comparison of the two bikes. Which one is better? Which one do I like better? And which one would I buy as a first-time buyer or as a normal casual dirt bike rider that you've been doing it before you just wanted a cheap bike and I'm basically gonna just break it down to you guys of what I think about these two and then we're gonna see which one is better for you guys and basically just answer any questions that you guys have if I don't answer anything just comment down below and then I'll go ahead and uh, try to help you guys out the best I can but now let's talk about why the tires are blue so I think I've read online that um, one these Apollo tires suck and a lot of people actually end up buying new ones right away just because the tires that it comes with with they really do suck I don't know if that's why they're turning blue but I did read online that sometimes if you go mudding and stuff like that it can turn the tires blue just because the iron or the metal that's inside of mud can do something with it I have no clue if that's really the case or if it's just because the tires are trash I have read that people do have to swap out the tires which is something I might do eventually um, these tires seem pretty good I mean when they when you first get them like they're they're tread is very good I don't see why they would be bad tires um, but people just did not like them so they ended up replacing it with new tires, but I'm gonna keep these until they pop. Uh, basically, it's a tire with an inner tube. I actually already had to replace the inner tube on the back one, but that was my own personal fault because when I got the bike, I kinda uh, didn't pump up the back tire all the way. It had some air in it when I first got it, but it wasn't pumped up to the right PSI, so I was like, eh, I'm just gonna ride it anyways, and that ended up causing it to like rip. I'll show you guys a picture of what that looks like. So the uh, little needle, I forgot exactly what it's called, it ended up popping out of the inner tube, so that was just completely not replace like I couldn't fix it I even tried buying like right here so I ended up buying this stuff right here which it ends up sealing the dirt bike it's basically uh, prevent and repair flat tires for dirt bikes 
as you can see at the bottom. It says four dirt bikes, but it didn't work, so I had to go buy a new one, which was $10, and then I had them install it themselves. I could have probably done it myself, but for them to install it and buy a new inner tube, it ended up costing like $40. I think it was like $35 for the service and $10 for the actual inner tube. But if you can do it yourself, you can do it for $10, and it's not bad at all. But enough rambling on, let's get to the actual bikes. As you guys can tell, this height difference already, this one's sitting on a stand, and it's it looks like it's the same height, but the bike is a lot smaller. As you guys can see just from the tires look at how small this tire is and then look at how massive that tire is it's hard to tell on camera just because this is sitting off the ground so it looks like it's the same height so you know what we're gonna take it off the stand and then it'll be easier to compare all right now that it's off the stand you can definitely tell how small this back tire is compared to that one difference is pretty big I mean you can actually even tell the bike height difference if I put it next to each other which I will do right here in a second this bike is a lot smaller it, it's shorter it's smaller it's not a dirt bike it's considered a pit bike so if you're younger smaller and not that tall this bike is probably gonna be perfect for you just because of the height and stuff especially if you're a beginner rider you want something that you're comfortable with and it's not something that you like have to tippy toe or like it's hard for you to sit on I'm 5'7 and I fit on this bike pretty good um, it's it is still a little small for me being 5'7 so if you're like 5, 10, 6 foot, this bike's gonna be really, really small for you. Just because of the height of it, the width of it, it's a small bike, but it's really good on learning how to do wheelies and stuff. We'll get into that in here in a second. But this bike, this is a bigger bike, 5'7". I fit on it probably perfectly. I fit on it, it's a perfect height for me um, when it comes to dirt bike. It is a bigger bike, so when you ride this one and then you jump on this one, you could feel the difference. But this is a dirt bike, not a pit bike, so this one is more faster. It's 250cc, but it does not give you an actual 250cc engine. It's, it's kind of a little bit slower than if you got like a KTM Kawasaki or anything like that it's a little bit slower than that those push like 32 horsepower this is like 16 horsepower so it's a lot slower but it is a bigger engine it is way faster than this bike and it does have five gears this one only has four this one is also a lot more expensive I think this one is 1500 uh, with shipping and everything like that and this one is around $800 with shipping and stuff like that so it is about half the price almost as that bike but honestly to be honest with you guys if I could have picked which one of these bikes I actually want it now that we've tried out both of them I still would go with the 125 cc just because I'm new to dirt biking it is my first time ever riding a bike and this bike is just it's a lot of fun to ride the pit bike is way more fun than this one this one is fast so when you're riding it on the streets and stuff like that and you really want to gun it you can it's a lot of fun but it's illegal to ride on the streets here so to have a bike like that it's not really that fun here because if you're hitting trails and stuff it's a lot more fun to have a pit bike something that you can control and the throttle on this thing just because the bike is small and light and it's a 125 25cc engine it's so easy to pop wheelies with this bike now I tried it on that one it's a bigger bike it's heavier the engine is 250cc but it's not as torquey as you would imagine and what I mean by torquey is like like you know when you're in a car and it just torques you feel it like you can feel the, the the power this little one actually has it feels like a little bit more torque than the bigger one the bigger one is faster picks up speed a lot faster but this one is a lot more torqueier and it's a smaller bike so popping wheelies doing things like that is a lot easier with this bike all right now that I got the bikes next to each other it's it's actually really hard to tell on camera just because this is a wide angle lens so if I zoom in focus it up a little bit maybe now you can actually tell now, this is like a normal lens so this is what it would normally look like you can actually see that the bike is a lot smaller when you put them next to each other um, the back tire is a huge difference that's probably the biggest difference that you can tell how freaking big that back tire is on the 250 cc and then the the width and length of the bike as you can see the back ones literally just just bigger it's meteor bigger bigger everything about it is a lot bigger faster everything so now that you guys seen the size difference and I hope I answered some of the questions the 150 or 125 cc is probably a better bet if you're new to biking if you're young you're short or anything like that and you want to learn the 125 cc is a good bike to do it on the 250 cc is kind of a dirt bike if you want to actually like hit trails and actually go fast and stuff like that that's the one to go with it's not as torquey which does suck it makes popping wheelies a lot harder we can do it uh it's just a little bit harder when you're learning how to do it on the big one now i'll show you guys what i look like on each of the bikes so that way you guys can get an understanding again i'm five seven uh, if that kind of helps out with, I guess, how tall you guys might be and how you look on the bike. All right, so here's a little awkward thing of me just getting on the bikes and just sitting on it awkwardly. But I wanted to show you guys exactly what it looks like and how you fit on a bike. So this is a 125cc. Now, I don't look too bad on it. I am 5'7". I'm pretty short. But I don't look that bad on it. I mean, it looks like it fits me pretty good. I just look a little bit too big for it just because of, I guess my body weight is where you can really tell where it's at. Because I weigh like 170 or something like that. So... 
my figure is a little bit too big for this bike now my height not really maybe if i was a little bit skinnier and smaller it would fit better but now this is the one or 250 cc and i look a little bit better on this just because of my weight now i do have to tippy toe but this is a good height for a bike for me to be able to get on the bike like this and not have to be on my very tippy tippy toes on the bike like this is a good sized bike now most 250 cc bikes that you actually see are actually really big like my friend has a kawasaki uh 250 cc i don't know exactly what model it is but it is way too big for me uh just because i'm a little bit shorter i can't even get on the bike properly so this is a perfect size bike for me so I really do hope that I answered any questions that you guys may have on the difference between the two bikes, the 250cc and the 125. The 250 Apollo is again $1,500 with about 13 horsepower. It's not as good, uh, but it is a bigger bike. I don't think it's worth the money. If you're going to put $1,500 into a bike, you might as well put another $1,000, $2,000 and get a nice American bike. These are again are Chinese bikes, so they're not that good quality. But again, just from my opinion and experience with it, put another $2,000 into an actual good bike now this pit bike perfect price for a brand new bike to learn on and stuff like that um so far nothing's gone bad i've ridden it i think three or four times the only thing is you will read online people say to tighten the bolts and that is every single bolt on here so basically these those uh these will get loose every once in a while uh, that hold up the panels the side panel ones the brakes make sure everything's tight every single ride you go on and the reason i say that is because one of my actual uh exhaust plates ended up coming off and i don't i thought everything was tight the first time i ever rode it i tightened everything down but i guess over time things get loose so every single ride just take care of the bike make sure to actually clean it when you're done with it as you guys saw from the pictures that was just yesterday and today you can see the bike is pretty pretty freaking clean if you ask me besides the tires being that color um i don't know maybe over time it'll change don't know why they're like that um but yeah guys with that being said thank you so much for all the love all the support these videos i'm actually having fun and doing stuff like this and that's what i really want to do i just want to do what i like doing for youtube i don't want to do it for the views so for all you guys out there that are actually still supporting me through all this thank you so much love you guys so much and i will see you in the next video again if you have any questions ask me in the comments below i'll try to answer and i'll see you guys later peace